Prince Charles will get the royal treatment when he arrives in New York later this morning, his first visit to the city. And like any other tourist, he plans to get in some sightseeing. He'll fly his own helicopter tour, seeing the UN, the George Washington Bridge, and even the World Trade Center from a lofty point of view. His next stop, lunch on board the yacht of millionaire Malcolm Forbes on a cruise up the Hudson River. First Lady Nancy Reagan will be along for the sail and will join the prince at Lincoln Center to help celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Royal Ballet as it performs Sleeping Beauty, seen here in rehearsal. In light of last Saturday's incident in London, where six blank shots were fired near the Queen, and because of expected protests by Irish-American groups, a massive security force of more than 1,200 city police, along with State Department security guards, will surround His Royal Highness and Mrs. Reagan every step of the way. That effort will cost the city $300,000, money New York is trying to get back from the federal government. Reporters will be unable to talk with Prince Charles, who has made it clear there are to be no interviews. Photographers have been told no pictures of the prince while he is smoking, drinking, or eating. But we may see him dancing at a post-ballet ball, where the prince will receive a gift from orchestra leader Lester Lannan. The sheet music for a song called My Lady Love, written when the prince became engaged to Lady Diana, to whom he will return tomorrow morning. Rita Sands, ABC News, New York.